A few years ago, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation approached INSEAD Chair Professor of Management Science, Philip Parker, with a bold challenge. How do you take the world's fragmented scientific information and get it in the hands of, or in the mind of, someone who's all the way across the planet who certainly doesn't have the same language skills? The resulting platform, Toto Geo, is an extension of Parker's past work creating computer algorithms capable of producing educational materials in underserved languages. Toto Geo places a massive storehouse of aggregated, highly localized agricultural data at users' fingertips, translatable across more than 100 languages and downloadable in an array of digital formats. The trick of this was that the engine should be able to save as any format. There's a 3D game we created out of this thing. This is Xbox 360 quality, by the way, and it's the same data as the dashboard you just saw. We can model a village down to its longitude and latitude. We take elevation data from NASA and we build the entire farm with its actual soil and climate, and then you can play the farm that's there. Everything was cross-integrated, so all formats were feasible, no matter what the NGO or government wanted. Integration with blogging tool WordPress allows anyone to set up their own economic development platform in minutes. Recently, Toto Geo stakeholders from around the world gathered at INSEAD Singapore campus to strategize the next phase of the project. On the agenda, expanding Toto Geo's global network along with its technology portfolio. Toto Geo is helping us aggregate information and provide it in a way that has been unprecedented in the country. We, as journalists and programmers, have had our time for research and the cost of researching and putting together information cut by more than a half. This dash dashboard will be the uh, biggest dashboard for agriculture portal and uh, Bangladeshi people, especially the uh, rural people and extension work and, and agri-related people will be benefited from this dashboard. The networks that are being created, I think is very important for, it's very encouraging to see that what was an idea two or three years ago. Today at least we have certain stakeholders coming to the table and those stakeholders are starting to understand and believe I would like to see this um, nationwide. We want to access all the farmers in Uganda, and then of course beyond Uganda, across Sub-Saharan Africa. Here's the big vision. Anyone with a smartphone one day that happens to be in a village should be, be, should be able to become an extension worker, even though they weren't trained on it.